Hey everyone, welcome back to the tent. I thought I'd do a quick little update video since I've not posted anything in a very long time on the progress for the uh, diamond turning lathe project and what I've been up to there and uh, what progress we've made. So there's a lot of stuff just laying around. I'm just gonna do a real quick 10,000 foot overview of what, what I've been working on. And if you want a more detailed video, let me know and we can go more in depth. What we're looking at here is the tent we made up for housing all the sensitive stuff because the ceiling rains dust and it turns out that dust and air bearings don't mix very well. But what we're looking at here, the surface plate is actually the machine base. Um, there's a lot of crap laying on it right now. But what's also on it is the Z-axis of the machine, an old Seagate air bearing slide uh, that we've rigged up a little traction drive to, uh, a non-influencing drive bar, and this is just a brush DC motor, but it uh, simply actuates the axis like that. Uh, we've got a uh, Heidenhain LIF-17 encoder on it right now. This just has 0.1 micron resolution. I had it hooked up, um, just seeing if I could get the thing to servo. And it actually servos pretty well. It's decently stable, but what we're going to be putting on there is the LIP-382. This guy has the potential for 0 0.01 nanometer resolution, so it's a much, uh, going to be a much nicer option. Um, there we've got the spindle over there, just chilling. This is the motor that's going to be put on the back of it. The shaft that we ground to hold the magnet ring, it all get put on there. Um, that's that. Here we have the x-axis that we've been working on. Um, it's still pretty early on. This is just everything roughed before grinding. This is the bearing rail here, and I've got the linear motor magnet track in it just so you can see how it's going to go. It's going to get bolted to this, this surface plate. Um, and there's a little flexure on that, on that side uh, to allow for differences between these two lengths so it doesn't over constrain and bend everything. Um, here are a couple of the bearing plates themselves all ready to go go off to grinding. It's made out of 304 stainless. These are the side ones so you know just go on like that and then these haven't been machined yet but these are going to be the tops pretty much going to look the same, same as these guys, and they'll bolt, bolt on like that, there will be one underneath this whole rail, little repeat meter that we've been working on, uh, and then lastly, we've got a rotor grinding setup, I've been putting this together over the past couple weeks, it's about ready to go. Um, just a surplus Dover air bearing spindle here on a tilt base. Got a flexure in the back. This tilt base and spindle courtesy of professional instruments because that's just the kind of stuff they have lying around. Made a little tooling plate on top. This hasn't been ground yet. Got a bunch of tapped 1032 holes in there. And then just a simple DC motor with a pulley on it, bolted to a steel base, so then this can actually go right on the mag chuck. Uh, and if you give it a little, if you pull the belt tight and give it a bit of a tilt, and then turn on the mag chuck, it'll sort of pull it down and tension the belt nicely without having to have any uh, other mechanisms to go with that. But once that's up and running on the grinder, that'll give us much better results. Um, from a flatness standpoint and we'll be able to grind 
fun stuff like this, the old spindle mount, which ground in the past decently, but now we can put it on here and rotor grind it like that. Should get some pretty, pretty sweet results. Over there is the hydraulics testing station and some prototype hydrostatic crap laying in there that we've been messing with. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's what we've been up to. Um, like I said, if you want to see more of any of what I just showed or some more explanation, let me know. I just wanted to provide a quick update so everyone can see what is up. Thanks for watching.